Hello, and welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. Today I'll be discussing Clip Studio Paint's panel tools and the ways you can use and customize them. Links to additional tutorials and information for everything mentioned in today's video will be down in the description. Whether you're making a vertical format webtoon or a traditional webcomic page, comic panels are a staple of the medium, yet they can be surprisingly complicated to make without the right tools. What if you want your panels to have interesting shapes? or to maintain an even spacing between them on all sides without having to pull out a ruler? What if you want to adjust a panel after it's already been drawn? With Clip Studio Paint's built-in panel tools, making comic panels is incredibly easy and helps save a ton of time. To find the panel tools, go to the tool window and look for the Frame Border tool set. There should be two sub-tool sets here, the Create Frame set and the Cut Frame Border set. Under the Create Frame sub-tool set, there are a few choices of tools to use. The Rectangle Frame tool lets you draw a square or rectangular frame. Polyline Frame lets you draw a polygonal frame in any shape you want by dragging lines to create the borders. Finally, the Frame Border Pen tool lets you freehand draw your borders like a regular pen tool. To drag or adjust any panels you've drawn, click on a panel using the Object tool. This will let you resize, reshape, or rotate any panel. In the Tool Property window, you can customize each tool to behave differently depending on your needs. The Draw Border checkbox determines whether or not you want a line to be drawn around the edge of your panels. Unchecking this box will instead turn your panel edges into rulers, shown as these thick purple lines, which you can draw on with your own brushes. I personally like to leave this box unchecked so I can use a texture brush to draw my panel borders. It gives my comic a more hand-drawn feel. The Aspect Type checkbox allows you to constrain your panels to a specific set of dimensions, which you can adjust using the sliders below. By default, drawing a panel with this box checked will make every panel into a square. The How to Add dropdown lets you decide whether you want each panel to create a new self-contained folder, or whether it should join in the folder that your other panels are in. The second set of panel tools are in the Cut Frame Border subtool set. With these tools, you can split your panels up into pieces. The Divide Frame Folder tool will not only divide your panels based on how you draw the division line, but will also split up the panels into separate folders. This is useful for keeping all your panels organized and preventing accidental overlap. The Divide Frame Border tool will preserve your original folder and just add a division wherever you drew it in. When multiple panels have been created using these tools, one handy feature of Clip Studio Paint is that adjusting one panel will also adjust the panels adjacent to it, so you can preserve the spacing even if the panel shapes are unique. In the Tool Property window, you can customize these tools to suit your needs. The Shape of Division boxes determine what type of line you want to make a division. You can use a straight line, a polyline, or a curved line. The dividing method boxes determine how your division will affect your folders. One of the most important customizations is the vertical and horizontal gutter sliders. This determines the thickness of your divisions and is the key to having equal spacing between all your panels in a traditional comic layout. Additional customization settings for both tool subsets are available in the subtool detail window, which you can access by clicking the wrench at the bottom of the tool property window. One handy trick for lining up all your panels at a specific area of the canvas is to add guidelines. To do this, go to View, Ruler. Now you can drag guidelines out onto your canvas wherever you want them to go. When you use the frame tools to add panels, as long as the Enable Snapping checkbox is checked in the Tool Property menu, they can snap to the guidelines. This also works with bleeding crop marks. To adjust the bleeding crop marks on your canvas, go to View, Crop Mark slash Default Border Setting. If you're looking for panel layout inspiration, Clip Studio Paint's Materials Library has an entire section of ready-to-use layouts. Go to Window, Material, Manga Material, and under the drop-down you'll find the Framing Templates folder. When you've chosen a layout you're happy with, just drag and drop it onto your canvas and the layout will be applied right away. 
What's handy about these is that they'll adjust themselves depending on your canvas dimensions or crop marks, so you don't have to worry about it not fitting if your canvas isn't a standard size. If you'd like to adjust any of the panels, click on them with the object tool and you'll be able to make whatever changes you like from there. Those are the basics of how you can use Clip Studio Paint's panel tools to help with making your webcomic. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.